Here's the opening bounce. Somerville stands, waits and delivers. He wins it, but it's Creswell who takes it away. Sydney, the first kick to half forward. Troy Luff, 45 metres out. Wanted Maxfield, won't get him, it's cut across. Spills backwards, O'Brien overruns it. It's going to be tough and it's going to be a little nerve-wracking early as Buick gets the hand pass away. The Essendon captain, Gary O'Donnell, of course. O'Donnell not tossing the coin, Harvey playing his 200th game was given that honour. Not clear with the left hand by Somerville. He was a terrific player for the Bombers against the West Coast. Buick's little handball is very, very good. Denham in turn. Lloyd from wide at half forward. Yeah. Kicks into full forward and a mark is taken by Hurd. Manning up on James Hurd, Paul Ruse, but Hurd with his second possession. Kicks it to the square. It holds up in the breeze. It's a lesson to mark to Alessio. He's got it only 20 metres. Uh, it was Hurd getting involved in the play, getting the ball long. There you see the double prong forward line now of the Bombers. Pretty tall in Fletcher. Normally a full back, but in the last few weeks, you model of Paul Salmon. The height, a great problem. Already 21 possessions to Essendon, 10 to Sydney, and Alessio kicks the first goal of the game. And now has 72 games under his belt. Cool night here in Melbourne City, but ideal for football. Strong mark taken by Lewis. Oh, well, it must have been touched. He was called to play on, and does so it could result in a goal to Hurd. Well, drama there for Sydney. The Sydney fans are doing. James Hurd is asking this man for space left in front of the forwards. I'm not sure why this wasn't played at home. Perhaps it was touched in flight, but uh, James Hurd quick to seize on the opportunity and bent one round for his second shot at goal this time successful kicks towards uh, the open spaces on centre wing they weren't open for very long because Fletcher's charge back towards James Hurd he couldn't take it Buick does the roving good in hell goes in again gives it back to Alessio the big man tries to get through off to Buick Buick is clear he's still going has one bounce wants to get back on the right 46 metres out in towards full forward what a cockatoo column but here's just Matthew Lloyd for the Bombers on centre wing. Kicks nicely towards half forward. Looking for Hurd. And, well, that looked as though it was a fair and above board attempt to try to spoil. The umpire sees it as an infringement and the free kick is with Hurd. Hurd from 50 metres. Kicks it high and very long. It'll land right on the end of the square. Essendon Mark, is it? Awarded to Blumfield. Gee, it was a great leap. And he's marked right on the goal line. And the youngster from Tuggeranong. Well, he is an exciting prospect. Just an 18-year-old in Blumfield. Let's hope for Essendon fans that he can capitalise. He runs around and kicks with his right foot. And it looks all right. It's a goal to Essendon. So the Bombers have thrown it right up to the Swans in the first seven or eight minutes of this match. Shady, one kick and one handball. Nothing in this game as far as the punters on the National Sportsbook are concerned. Dead even. But it's the Bombers who have made the raging start. Here's Barry Young. If I'm going to celebrate 100 games, I'm going to do it in style. He runs a long way. He kicks from 55 metres long in towards goal, but he's just away to the left and one behind. Fletcher quickly onto Fletcher's right foot. He kicks, getting close to the 50 metre line. Hurt from behind. Swans have got the numbers here. Dyson, his kick is a bit of an up and under. Essendon from behind. Harvey attempted punch. Gathered by Wellman. Handball to O'Donnell. O'Donnell from the centre. The kick is quite magnificent because it was weighted perfectly for Cockatoo Collins to run. It's been an organised and potent forward line. Just at this uh, point of time of the first quarter. Cockatoo Collins should get the distance. Oh, it's a great kick by Cockatoo Collins. Garlic's kick towards centre wing. He wanted luck. Well sport waiting down is Maxfield. Steely Maxfield, the former Tiger, pulls it round his body. Inside 50. Chapman! Oh, what peril! Great mark. Quickly on he goes towards Luckett and Wallace. This fellow is a wild card of just to go into quarter time, a little bit more relaxed. What about the mark of Wade Chapman? It was uh, courageous. The fellow has been knocked out pretty severely during the season, but he keeps his eyes only on the football. 
And that bit of cut play, uh, fantastic tennis. But tonight could well be his night. He could get the first goal here. This for Sydney's first. He's kicked it. So Dale Lewis gets his and Sydney's first. And with one minute and ten seconds. Tackling, drop the mark but they still end up with a neutral situation on their fours. Stafford tried to flick it forward at the back. It was taken by Garlic in towards half forward. Again, no mark taken by Kelly. Lockett's got to give chase on Wallace. This will test out that groin. He gets him. He gets him. He slings him away. It's taken by Kelly. He fires in towards goal. He misses. Tony Lockett quite prepared to let Dean Wallace know what it was all about. Now Buick to do the kicking in. Goes in the direction of Somerville. Slipping over there was Wellman. He's able to get it back nearly. Denham pinches it away. Stafford, well done. Very well done for a big man. A wobbly left foot punt kick, but fortuitously for the Swans, it lands on the chest of their captain, Paul Kelly. Much for the Russia Gage has moved into the red zone. They really have turned it on the first uh, couple of minutes, and it should now pay dividends. Kelly must kick this goal. He's straight in front. He's only 40 metres out, and he does kick the goal. So the Swans get the first goal of the second term. Essendon still lead, but now it's only a 12-point game. So a throw-in. Wellman doing the work from behind. Oh, Chapman stalled through. Smothered, back to himself once again. Sendra kick, maybe a chance for Creswell. He leaves it for his skipper. Kelly around his body. It's high. Lockett's got to beat two. He almost gets to the front. Can't take it cleanly. Hurd is there defending on the last line. O'Loughlin also for Sydney. O'Loughlin will keep it in play. He's still going. He steps. Oh. He kicks. Don't tell me that's a behind. But the movement out by Joe Mercedes, who gives it to Darren Buick. Buick looks across the centre. That's a poor kick. Stafford should have marked it, but he's got good support from Dunkley. Drifted in towards the middle. That had to be accurate, and it was to Maxfield. Maxfield back to Dale Lewis. Puts them inside 50. Lewis's kick into half four. Two rounds. Darren Creswell. Well, he took the mark of the ninth and sealed it against Hawthorne. Lockett's coming back on. Creswell's kicking for goal has been pretty shabby. Seven goals, 21. He's booted this year. And he's kicked that one, though. Play on is the call, and they do. Take it by Dyson. A hurried high kick. No mark. Derek kicking a chance. Doesn't get a good bounce. Doolan through with strength, but taken out of it eventually. Oh. O'Donnell threw it. No, he didn't set the umpire. He can play on, so Creswell does. He may get another chance, Creswell. Round the body he goes. Towards Lockett. Will he get a kind bounce? Will it be Fletcher? It's Lockett at the moment. He's caught. He's caught. And he's claimed. He loses it to Kelly. Hurriedly gets with the ball. Goes down forward but it only wobbles to Wanganeen who steadies the halfback and he cools things down he just says let's put the brakes on boys and I'll give it to Mark Harvey and that's not a good way to come out of defence because he's given it straight back to O'Loughlin who's given it to kick it now kick it can go for home it's a high kick it's bending into the square look at I think Wellman had the chance to come over the top then if he was just that This for Sydney to hit the front. Point blank range. No mistake by the champ. Lockett gets his first. Sydney lead at the SCG. Goal number 115 for the Sydney comeback with the last four. Bounce of the ball with nine and a half minutes left. Punched away by Stafford. Oh, characteristic Kelly. He goes in towards full forward at the feet of Kickett. In goes Chapman. Ball spills now for Cresswell. Cresswell's short kick is all right. Oh, oh Lockett nearly took a one-hander. Kicked oh. it off the ground. It's touched. It's still not over. So it, they've kept it alive, the Swans. Lockett. Piece of play, desperation by both sides. Chip kick just not quite good enough, but Lockett smart enough to get the ball forward. Looked like it was going through for goal. Just question this uh, little handball. A 
umpire said it was okay. The strength of Lockett creating that goal. Whipped it out to Love Lewis. Lewis for the Swans in the right back pocket. Kicks it out towards the wing. Kelly at the back. Oh, he had it ripped all over him, Paul Kelly. Ruse was the step ladder. Kelly's kick in towards half forward. Looks for Luff. Punched away by Wellman and just holding up play. Lockett, Lockett just get absolutely back into the square. blew him. What is the point in me leading, he's saying. And Lewis takes the short pass. Dale Lewis kicks into the pocket. Eston have got back. Taken by Cresswell. Snapshot by Cresswell's a goal. <laughs> The Bombers are desperate for a goal. Gee, if, uh, it's been a drought, hasn't it? Buick's handball to Wellman. Oh. Wellman gets past. That Shepard, rather dubious, but allowed. Denham's down. Spectacular Lachlan. And Swans are rewarded. Magnificent tackle. Just in towards half forward. Cocker to Collins. It bounces for O'Loughlin. O'Loughlin just tumbles a punt back to the centre. And a magnificent second turn by the Swans. Fantastic second quarter. They kicked five goals three. And Essendon kicked just two behinds. And they lead at half time by 12 points to Sydney. Six bombers up across that half back line. And Chris Danaher with the free kick. His kick lands close to the wing. James Hurd up high. Couldn't take the mark. Could have been a push in the back. Cockatoo Collins gives away a little bit of ground back to O'Donnell. O'Donnell along the boundary line. Not bad, Denham. In turn, Cockatoo Collins. He'll have to get into the play. He runs close to 50 metres. Can't get past Ruse. Tackle was effective. Cockatoo Collins. Handball goes over for a boundary throw. So they need to find a winner in the midfield. And looking at Joe Masidi coming through there, perhaps he's the man. From the throw in, Kelly a snap around his body. He's kicked the captain's goal. Two goals to Paul Kelly. Sydney 7-7, seven, seven, Essendon a 4-6. Well, Tony Lockett had his arms in the air even before, as this ball left uh, Paul Kelly's boot. He knew it was a goal uh, as soon as contact was made. There's the big fellow with his arms in the air. That was a great goal. 55 out directly in front. The next one to keep them well and truly in it. And Alessio almost took the mark. Flicked over the line. It wasn't subtle, but it's over. And well, there's a lot more acting in that than uh, yeah, genuine. Yeah. We, we did mention the stars of home and away were here. That's the sort of thing they like. I think Andrew Dunkley is uh, just doing a screen test. <laughs> oh, Lachlan plays on. Kicks back towards centre wing. Kelly almost interfered with. Plays on. Clever little tap back by Danaher. Towards Danaher it goes again. Oh, good control by Luff. And a great smother by Blumfield. Luff gets a boot to it. Towards Garlic. He slaps it further afield to Maxfield. Can he keep it in play? Yes, he can, but he desperately needs support. Gets boot to ball, but only as far as Masidi, who marks at half back. The seat uh, forward line you speak of, Robbo, is just being choked with supply. Now we have just nine minutes remaining in this third term. Harvey to O'Donnell. Can the old combination do something? I think they can. That's what they wanted. So O'Donnell. The skipper in his 206th game gets it on the chest of her. Gives it straight back to Fletcher. Fletcher's kick in towards half forward. The Bombers now going up a notch, realising this is the time they've got to produce something. Kick it harder. Defends towards Garlic. He hurriedly gets a kick in towards the centre. Picked up by Chapman. Chapman looks towards half forward. He looks further to full forward. To rebounded off a Swans player and it's all of a sudden it's gone down the length of the ground and Lewis will kick a goal and he does so the O'Donnell goal is answered in emphatic fashion so a chance for them to 
score, but Barry Young tries to make amends, breaks clear, oh. gets the hand past you. It was a bit too vicious there for Chris Danaher. He's able to recover. His hand pass was too emphatic there for Wanganoon. Kelly, Chapman, now O'Loughlin for the Swans. O'Loughlin's kick across the half-forward line, bounces favourably for Luff. He just turns Doolan inside out and then kicks to the square. A good kick too, but an excellent mark taken back there for Essendon by Peter Somerville. The pressure is on the Gary O'Donnell heads towards James Hurd. Been such a wonderful player for the Essendon club. It doesn't matter how good you are, but uh, when the numbers are there, he's one against three then. Yeah. Simon's kick. This will result in a goal as Wallace keeps it in play. But it, he elects to go Lachlan and Co. there, ready to try and chop him off if he does try and run around. The umpire now should. Got, well, I was going to say the umpire should get Seymour out of the road. And I reckon that's why they've been penalised to 50 metres. Well, He's too close to the man kicking the ball. So this will bring him directly in front, three metres out, and it will be a goal to Essendon. Started at the other end of the ground. Dean Wallace kicks a goal for Essendon and kicks them alive. Well, just a sixth goal for the season from Dean Wallace. Dean Wallace has been asked to uh, ruffle some feathers. Well, why not? Because uh, they've got to get something to pull that momentum back. Stafford up high. Chris Danaher will take it away. But an ineffective kick goes straight up in the air. O'Donnell from underneath. Danaher into the path of Olorenshaw. Gives away ground. Back to Wanganoon. He's tackled. O'Donnell. Now off the uh, ground or out of mid-air there by Somerville. It's been marked by Alessio. He looks to play on. And big man does well. Gets around his opponent and then kicks to full forward and the mark is taken by Hurd. So two superstars lock it at one end and Hurd at the other. But they've had a lot of the play and all of a sudden the Bombers go forward. If Hurd kicks this, there's only a goal in it. Hurd kicks from directly in front and kicks the goal for Essendon. Second goal to James Hurd. He becomes Essendon's over the top. Short kick to Stafford in the right back pocket. Stafford for the Swans. Goes high, but will give it up. He's just about picked out Harvey. And Harvey is between wing and left half forward. Mark Harvey plays on and then kicks it to within scoring distance for the Bombers. Up high was Alessio. Good mark by the big man. Big man, big presence. And Sheedy will have to kick the ball well and truly 50 metres to score. The player on the mark is about 47 metres. He gets it under it, onto it, and kicks a goal. It's a point the difference right on three-quarter time. Alessio, two goals, along with James. And a throw in. Lewis from behind. Tries to do the work down towards Dyson. Wanganin leaves it for his captain. Through hand pass to Cock to Collins. Here's Danger. Shows away. James Hurd plays on. Essendon can hit the front. Hurd. What about Cock to Collins? And Shay Cock to Collins. Oh, their pace is magnificent then. Well, he's had uh, a relatively quiet evening, uh, Shea Cocker to Collins, but he's one of those bursts as a match winner, and uh, sometimes he tries to do too much, but in doing so, he often creates the uh, the unbelievable great footwork there by James Hurd to take the front spot. So centre bounces are all important here at the Sydney Cricket Ground. O'Donnell not able to get away, neither was Cresswell, but Dyson can. Dyson's kick will land close to full forward, big plugger out, couldn't take it. Chance for Fletcher. Hacks it off the ground. Wide, close to the line. Olorincha would be happy to see this go over. And that's exactly what he does. Session all important. And Essendon have it at the moment. Olorincha runs away and then kicks out wide. Harvey beaten for it there by Seymour. But that thump really gathered was by Hardwick. Missed his target. Grant there. Now McPherson for the Swans. Well weighted kick. Beautifully weighted. And Kelly marks on his chest. 50 metres from goal. Will he go to lock it or kick to a vacant square? It goes long and high, but no 
one back for the Swans. Fletcher takes the mark for Essendon. Short kick. Young is there for the Bombers. Handball back to Fletcher. Fletcher runs across the full back line and hacks it out in the direction of Blumfield, who marks from behind Luck. He's on half back. Very young. The 100 gamer is enjoying it. He goes wide to Cockatoo Collins. His blistering pace could tell on the outer side. Cockatoo Collins looks down inside 50 towards Simon. Takes his chance, waits at the back, and almost got it. Seymour is there. Dyson also. Wanganeen is there. He's inside 50 and he's a danger. Tries to spoon it out. Tries to shovel it forward for Simons. And finally, Brian Sheehan comes in and takes charge. But Essendon now. And they've had all the play in this first term. They've crowded out uh, Tony Lockett. Giving it up here. He's kicked two goals. This would be a telling kick for Essendon if he can get the distance. It's a good kick by Stephen Alessio. It's right to the line and touched. What a great kick. So two goals, one to Alessio. Seven point margin in favour of Essendon. Field. Hasn't done all that bad. He's had 13 possessions and he's also kicked a goal. An excellent second goal. Kick wide. Cockatoo Collins again to run away. Beautiful hand pass to Mercedi. Mercedi across the half forward line. Alessio can't take it. Duncan, tackle. Oh. Handball goes free. Ruse quickly. Wanganeen chips in. Forces Ruse to kick it indiscriminately in the finish, but he found touch. Third now in defence. He's picking up Dale Lewis. And Lewis now taking him as deep into the forward line as possible. Harvey, the 200 gamer, gives it off to Simons. He'll try and bang. Give it to him directly in front. Give him the <laughs> hardest kick of all time. <laughs> oh, what can you say? Great handle by Harvey. Yes, it was. It was a brilliant uh, piece of thinking here from uh, the young fellow. Simons, what a great goal. Very important that they don't rest on their laurels. Just over four minutes remaining. Stafford got a hand up, but who can take it away out of the centre? Slap goes nowhere. O'Donnell's hand pass smothered. Mercedes gives it to Danaher. The Danaher dynasty. Simons again. This time it bounces off like rubber, but he's got elastic hands off to Danaher. Caught. Back to Simons. He gets the hand pass to Harvey. Harvey goes in towards full forward. The juggling attempt to mark. He's seen the ball spill forward into the left forward pocket. And taken Ooh. over. Kept in play. Kept in play. Strangely, it gives O'Donnell a chance to go towards Cockatoo Collins. He's taken out of it. Huskis rides the bump, wobbles it to Kelly, and Kelly marks in the back pocket. Kelly looking to play on. He's gone over the mark. You would think the umpire would have called it. Play on his own towards the middle as Maxfield. He can go all the way down the ground. The Swans must kick a goal out of this. Maxfield two bounces. Have another one and kick for goal. He doesn't. It's going to fall short. James Hurd can't get there. And Lewis is back in the square. If there was a roof on the Sydney cricket ground, it could be just knocked to oblivion. And Dale Lewis kicks this goal. You mean Rose? Well, smashed race, whatever. We've Dale lost a roof. If anybody finds it, it belongs at the SCG. Dale Lewis for his third goal. And he kicks it. over two minutes and we're heading to a draw still in the middle that all important break it's taken by Kelly he kicks it towards left half forward Garlic's the man over the top he goes Chapman off to Maxfield the left foot has got to get it in towards Lockett Lockett marks in the pocket he plays on a centre he wants Creswell and he's got it did he do it two games in a row Creswell he did it
it's almost an exact, exact replica of the first time they played here in round six. Essendon looked like they had a winning lead with only a couple of minutes to go and the Swans came back and I think they kicked the last three goals. If they kick the last three tonight, they'll be in a grand final in seven days' time. Darren Creswell have booted seven goals, 21 before tonight. At the moment, he's booted three goals in this game. Stafford gets it to Maxfield. It rebounds. O'Brien, a rare kick by Clay O'Brien. Up high there was Kelly. Couldn't take it. Doolan's held. But Essendon will get the advantage. They can go forward through Messini. He gathers. But he's well tackled. Brilliantly tackled by Dyson. Not giving away a free kick. And just holding the Essendon player up. One minute left. Scores level at the Sydney Cricket Ground. And these clearances from the bounces that the umpires will do in the last minute are just going to be so critical. Essendon a chance here through Hardley. Gets his left foot to it. Can they take the mark? The ball spills to the front. Coming away is Dunkley. Just goes straight through the Mercedes tackle. Well done by Hardwick. Just scrounging it was Kelly. O'Loughlin couldn't take the mark. The ball spills free. The Swans get a point here. They win the game. Simons back to Blumfield. A mark taken by Chapman. He can kick it forward. There's 22 seconds left. The kick towards the ball. What's going to be that? Look, it's got it. 50 metres from goal. If he kicks a point, the Swans are into the grand final. <laughs> the time is ticking down. Lockett can go all the way. And all he has to do is kick a score. It'll be after the siren, the kick. They're all heading down there. Will you back to keep the distance, Jared? Absolutely. Directly well, in the siren is going. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The scene is set. You couldn't get it any better than this. I don't think anybody's heard the siren. No one has moved in the crowd. What a finish. Any score. Otherwise, we play extra time. Lockett, the most important kick of his career. Any score will do.